Hi, my name's Dan Pilling, Senior Interior Design Team Leader at Pick Everard Architects. Uh, today, well, I'm very much coming here to update myself and, and the team on, on current developments, um, catching up with existing suppliers that we've got and also meeting uh, the potential for, for new ideas and new supplies as well. I've been using Dulux uh, since I first started practice for, for nearly 20 years actually, so um, we, we do often get uh, alternatives proposed by contractors, but uh, we, we've had consistently good experience with, with Dulux over the time, so unless anything goes dreadfully wrong, we, we shall continue to use Dulux. Well, the first reason to visit the Dulux stand was really to, uh, to actually meet some members of, of, of the company. Um, we, we tend to be quite remote, really. We, we, we based up in Leicester, and we're quite self-sufficient, really, in terms of knowing about products. But it was important today to, to come along and talk about new colour trends, new, new products, and also to see the dog. The uh, Diamond Eggshell um, is a product that we, we definitely will be using, and we do a lot of public sector work, uh, and durability is a, is a real big factor for us. Uh, lifespan uh, and making sure that uh, that users don't uh, don't uh, take too much of a toll on, on, on the surface finish uh, you know within within a, a reasonable time scale uh, I mean one of the conversations I've had this morning uh, it was was really about sustainability uh, and not ne necessarily just the, the makeup of the products but understanding lifespans of products uh, and, and, and that kind of uh, the whole process of painting and repainting uh, and understanding how durability fits into that kind of uh, that message about a, a sustainable uh, solution, really. I, I would, I certainly would say that the, the use of uh, the effective and considered use of colour uh, would really help with uh, with a healthy um, and. Um, you know, the kind of the whole idea of, of well-being within within the environment, certainly within environments where people spend a large amount of time, uh, the working environments, um, where where the use of colour can can stimulate, it can um, it, it can overstimulate to a certain extent as well. So um, the, the, that that considered use of colour, I, th I think, is, is 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 the key the key point really, um, to make sure that you have an understanding of why you're using colour, uh, and not that it's just a, a, a personal preference.